Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on May 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well a look at world weather. Start note here, looking at our sun as the only imagery we have right now is the Lasco 2 image. SDO has been down most of the day. Solar Dynamics Observatory not producing imagery throughout the day as I saw on the one of the latest images did have quite a glitch going on, maybe recalibration of the satellite. But looking here at Lasco 2, we can see we had an event shoot away from the backside of our sun. We did have just a very small X-class flare ejected in an outgoing position and that was from that large sunspot grouping that we've been watching here the last week turn away. Also give a quick look at Lasco 3, which is a blue version and a larger version. So yeah, it does happen sometimes, especially when uh, space weather events are affecting satellites. SDO is down. And this is what we have for our sun today, the last 48 hours. Also, you can see here on the DRAP absorption map, there was quite a pulse here, especially parts of West Africa. And that was earlier on in these images. Fortunately, this is only the last, I believe, three hours of time. Or eight hours time, right? Eight hours. So pulses straight across, straight across the Atlantic Ocean today, elongated right up into the Caribbean. And then just disappears. But yeah, X-class solar flare today. And you can see that here on the chart. We were going through an R3 strong radio blackout conditions. Solar X-ray flux, you can see here, just into the X-Class flare range. Just made it in there. But then we had another C-Class solar flare overnight. Pretty active stun sun the past two weeks, really. And the start of Solar Cycle 25, which was predicted to be one of the strongest in our time, is already amping up to be just that. Already well above the predicted Sunspot numbers, you can see here on this graph. So we're well above. This is the predicted values. Quick look at ISWA Space Signet Streamer. This is the space prediction. Here's that small, as I said, X-class solar flare, but ejected away from the planet, large CME, and coupled. And that's from that large sunspot grouping. Three or four sunspots were playing around there. Chaotic. Quick look at our Schumann resonance for today. It is a power of 34. Heightened yesterday. Heightened again today. Amplitude of 34. Quality of 9.2. 8.5 frequency max. Quick glance around the world, the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Just recently, we did have a sizable earthquake, 5.0 in the Tonga region. And the largest today was pretty much a 5.0. South of Fiji Islands, 488 kilometer depth, pretty deep earthquake yet again Tonga region still seeing fours and fives North Mariana up into Japan Indonesia right up into the Banda Sea got a couple more new volcanoes getting ready to blow through there please stay tuned volcanic activity report will be coming tomorrow as well pretty rare earthquake here Poland but not so rare anymore because that's the second one that, that's been reported there the last couple of weeks through Poland. In 
that is, it, that is Polka Weiss, Poland, 4.2 earthquake at a 9 kilometer depth. As well as this reported 4.2 off the coast of Spain. Quite a bit of activity coming back to South America. We're sitting at about 230 earthquakes across the USGS map right now. And the largest is the 5.0 Tonga region. And that was just, re just recently. Minor activity through Hawaii as well today. Up into Alaska. And as well, this notable earthquake here towards the Karamiski volcano in Russia, Kamchatka. This is right on the point of the Kamchatka. Very busy area. Across the United States. Most of the activity was through California, but no major swarms to talk about. Largest earthquake through the region was, what, a 2.3? 2.6 Redlands, California, largest throughout the day. So no major swarms, not much to worry about, but always stay aware and prepared here with daily events worldwide, and we can monitor because when these numbers start to jump up, we know something big is coming, especially when things start swarming. A quick look here as well, a look at uh, the total precipital water map. This is something that has been growing over the past six months. I've been noticing a dramatic difference, especially with all of the volcanic activity that we've had around the world. As well, our collapsed magnetosphere possibly going through this magnetic reverse altogether. This could be an, an effect from our collapsed ma magnetosphere as we get this increased moisture all around the world. This moisture band is really going through some big changes and we're along for the ride. So stay aware and prepared. Let's give a quick look at the weather forecast as not much has changed since I did last night's video. I'll have a quick look here at the winds and see what the systems will be doing here for the next little bit. You've got two winter storms here developing, one for Quebec and another one for northern BC up into Alaska. And But at the same time, this is Wednesday into Thursday, you have quite a convective low pressure system here developing out of Colorado and up into central United States. And watch for that reverberal thunderstorm conditions to continue up the coastline here as this low pressure system that's affecting Ontario right now heads into the Atlantic provinces. Long range forecast here over South America. No major systems coming in, daily evaporation rains. Looks like you could have some flooding conditions here, uh, Southern Argentina and Chile. Long line of moisture coming through. Still forecasting here, a cyclone heading into India, eastern parts of India, and that is Wednesday into Thursday. And same with Australia, still expecting some extreme weather conditions for Queensland. Especially Townsville here, I noted yesterday, they're still predicting a quite a surge as that low pressure center comes in Tuesday into Wednesday. Tropical cyclone conditions will persist through Queensland as it eventually goes away. Other than that, we've still got lots of winter conditions across Western Canada and as well the upper Northwest United States. Subscribers on Facebook and friends on Facebook showing me pictures of snowfall in their area. Please keep doing that. Find find me on Facebook and, uh, and share your amazing and crazy winter photos that are still happening here at the beginning of spring. So heads up, India. That's about the, the largest event that we're going to see here over the next few days other than 
the regular tornadic weather that will be developing through the United States Wednesday into Thursday. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. And please share this with your friends and family from around the world. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.